Welcome to another edition of Coffee with Christ. We thank you so much for being with us today. God is good all the time and he is worthy to be praised. Anybody know that? Anybody know that God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Thank you so much for joining us today again on Coffee with Christ. I am Dr. Frederick Dwayne Tappan, Senior Pastor of Eureka True Vine Baptist Church. We're located at 3510 Mill Branch in the beautiful city of Memphis in the sub-city of White Haven. And uh, again, uh, we are praising God today for another day. We're praising God because this is the day that the Lord hath made and we should rejoice and be glad in it. Again, this is Coffee with Christ and uh, our job today and our job every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7 o'clock is to make sure that we open up our lives with a devotional to God. Why? To revive and to rekindle our devotional relationship with God. One of the weakest uh, areas of our Christian life oftentimes is our devotional time. The time that we spend with God, just with, with, with me and God and a, and a bunch of friends and, and letting God know how much we thank him, how much we love him, and how much we care. And so that's why we're glad that you joined us today. And again, don't just have a devotional on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with Coffee with Christ. Do it every day. Every day that the Lord sends. Open it up with some time with your Lord and Savior. But look, I want to tell you today, we got a lot uh, going on in the show today. We got a lot of shout outs. We got a lot of graduates. And uh, uh, a shout out right now to the graduates of 2020, the pandemic graduates, uh, that they uh, have overcome so much. Uh, in order to graduate. So we've got some uh, graduates we're going to talk about a little bit later uh, on in the program. And uh, But of course, uh, when we open up the program, we play worship music. And that worship music gets us in the mood. It, it lays the foundation. It is the crux and the conference of why we're here, is to give God praise and glory in our devotions. And after that, I'll say a short prayer, and then we go into what we call the Word of Wisdom. And the word of wisdom is that we, we take a verse and we, we parse that verse. We, 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 we construct that verse and pull the meat off of the bone and allow God to speak to your spirit and to speak to your soul and give you something to, to keep, you, keep you spiritually strong all day long and that you can share with somebody. And then we go to the part that I love the most, which is post your prayer. It's interactive. You get a chance to post your prayer. You get an opportunity to share what God has placed in your spirit. And it's going to be a blessing to someone else. I'm telling you, it's all, it already is. Uh, people all over uh, the nation right now. Uh, we've got people from, from, from Fort Gibson, uh, Mississippi, all the way to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, to, to Virginia, to Washington, D.C. We have people all over, to Kansas City, Missouri, uh, all over the country that are joining in with us with Coffee with Christ. And I want you... Uh, I, what I want you to do, I'm going to challenge you to, to invite three people, to invite three people uh, uh, today and, and for Friday. You invite three people and watch how God's going to continue to uplift and minister to you. All right. And after that, we have our, uh, our shout out showcase and we get a chance to shout out some people uh, that are, are all of our new individuals, our out of town individuals, uh, people from the vine and all over the city and also for our graduates in any special situation that you would like. We're there for you. And uh, then we go out with high praise. We give God the glory. So uh, that's the that's how we do it. That's what this ministry is all about. And uh, while you're posting your prayer, let me go back to this very quickly. If you have a, a, a special prayer, if you have a special situation, if you have a person that you want to uplift, we have what we call pastoral prayer partners that will jump right in, pray for you, uh, send a prayer to you uh, right there online, and be a blessing to you right then and there. So we want you to remember that. If you have a situation or a person or an individual that, or a situation uh, that you need special prayer for, then post it at the time that we give our post your prayer. All right, so we are about to get started. God is good all the time, and he's worthy to be praised. Don't forget uh, that we are here to give God praise, give him worship, for he is worthy to be praised. Anybody here know he's worthy? And don't forget to give us your likes. We need your likes. We need your likes. Make that a priority. We need your likes to let us know if we're doing a good job. Make sure you send your comments. And if you want to start a watch party, that's great too. Uh, we, we need all that to help us to touch as many people as we can. So let's do that right now. Let's, let's get ready to, to give God the worship. Let's get ready to let him know how much we love him, how much we 
and we, we need him, how much he undergirds us, how much he is the wind beneath our wings. So let's do that right now. Uh, let's block out everything else, bind and rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. And we just open up our hearts and our minds to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Shekinah glory, which, Lord, is your presence. We know that you are here. We feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in our souls, in our minds, and in our spirits right now. Lord, we feel your healing virtue flowing right now. We feel your forgiving virtue flowing right now. Lord, we thank you that you gave us life and life more abundantly, Father. Lord, we thank you that you didn't have to do it, but we're so glad that you did. Thank you for binding and rebuking Satan in the name of Jesus. Thank you for breaking generational curses. Thank you for allowing your anointing to break the yoke right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that yoke-breaking anointing. Lord, we know that we have fallen short of your glory, but Lord, we thank you that you've given us this day to reunite, to rekindle and revive our relationship, and we thank you. Thank you for the joy of our salvation. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for everything you've already done. If, you've never, if you never do anything else, you've already done enough. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We come to the throne of grace petitioning an opportunity for mercy, for giving us less than we deserve. And, Lord, we thank you. We're going to take that grace, and we're going to take that mercy, and we're going to extend it, and we're going to share it with somebody else to show them how much. We love you. And Father God, we thank you, we praise you, and we magnify you because you are God. And we will give you glory. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Mm. It is because of you that we live and have our being. It is because of you that we are here today to share your love with someone right now. Oh, hallelujah. All right, we're gonna go into our word of wisdom and this is part two of God is our refuge and God is our strength. Is that true for anybody today? Is God your refuge? Is God your strength? 
If he is, because somebody ought to post that, that God is my refuge and God is, I'm speaking it boldly, that God is my refuge and my strength. On, on Monday, we went, uh, and again, it's coming from Psalms 46 and 1, and before we go, into, let, let me read it, because we're going to do it. Uh, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And today we're going to get to verse 2, and it says, Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Hallelujah. So we're going to deal with verse 2 uh, today of God is our refuge and God is our strength. In verse 1, we found out, we looked at the three, what we call God is attributes. God is our refuge, God is our strength, and God is a very present help in trouble. So those are the three God is. Those are the things that we dealt with on money. But today we're going to get to part two. It refers back to part one, but we're going to get to part two. All right. So again, let's read that together. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea? Now, we're going to talk about two things at the beginning. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. Cause is why it happened, and effect is are the results of what happened. Again, cause is why it happened, and, the and, and effect is the results of why it happened. Now, let's look at that word, therefore. It's an adverb, and it, in, the, in the Hebrew, it's lahain. Can you say lahain? And lahain means for the reasons previously stated, or for the reasons aforementioned. So, what is the cause? The cause is God is our refuge. The cause is God is our strength. The cause is he is a very present help in trouble. That's the cause. So because he is those things, because he's our refuge, because he's our strength, because he's our very present help, here comes the effect. The effect is we will not fear. We won't fear. Fear is not from God. First Timothy tells us that fear is not from God. God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love, power, and a sound mind. And so because he is not given a, a, a spirit of fear, we know that fear does not come from God. So the effect of him being our refuge, our strength, and a very present help, the effect is we will not fear. We, we, we will not be afraid. We, we will not be frightened. We will not be troubled. We will not cower down. We will not be coward soldiers. We will stand firm on the word and the promises of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I remember the words of this song, we will stand on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Hallelujah. We refuse to fear. We refuse to be afraid as long as we have Jesus on our side. And then it said, uh, therefore, we will not fear, though the earth erects. And the earth is not just the earth itself, not just the foundation of, of where we stand. It is the earth and its inhabitants. So who will not fear? Those of us that are on the earth and that have a true and abiding faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. You, it, when we accept Christ, there's a built-in fear filter. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to post fear filter. That God filters out the fear because we depend on him and not ourselves. Amen. It, it, we, we don't lean to our own understanding. We have a God that can. We have a God that gave his life on the cross. We have a God that sacrificed everything for us. We have a God that's there for us when we're sick. That's there for us when we're in trouble. We need not fear. We have a God that said, all you need to do is be still and let me fight your battle. That's what, that's what we have in God. That's why we don't have to fear. So Eretz is, 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 is the earth. It's not just the earth, but it is also the inhabitants of the earth. So therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, though it be carried into the midst of the sea. So let's go back to remove. Though the earth be removed, uh, mur. Can you say mur? And, and, and remove is mur. It means to change or perish. Though the earth changes, we're in a change period right now. This pandemic period, it's a change from the way it used to be. And so when we talk about what the change is, what are we removed from? Look what it says. Remove, throw the mountains, be carried into the midst of the sea. That means natural disasters, pandemics, plagues, wars. We don't have to fear those things. Even though the earth changes into these things, the changes in our lives occur, we still don't have to fear no matter what that change is, whether it's bereavement, 
whether it, 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 it's death, pandemic, plagues, natural disaster, wars, we still don't have to fear because our God is sovereign and our God is still in control. Although these things may occur, my, uh, may occur uh, and fear may creep in, we, we need to push it out because we have the Holy Spirit of God within us. My faith is unshakable. That's why I will not fear. My love is unbreakable. That's why I will not fear. My trust in God is unmovable. That's why I will not fear. Why? I'm glad you asked. Because God is my refuge. And God is my strength. I, I like what Isaiah said in the book that he penned in chapter 40 and verse 8. He said, I believe the word of God. Why? Because the grass withers and the flowers fade. But the words of our Lord shall stand forever and ever. Amen. God is our refuge and our strength. Hallelujah. If, you, if, you got, if, you, if that was a blessing to you, why don't you let us know? Let us know. Just comment. Just, just to share something with somebody from that word. It's going to be a blessing to them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right. We are up to our, my favorite uh, part of the lesson. Did you notice I have that top button button for you, white? Reverend O.D. White. Big ups. Prop to Reverend O.D. White. I got the button. I'm whitey. Uh, uh, we're going to go into our poster prayer time. And, uh, I want you to get ready, and from that word, hopefully it inspired you uh, to open up your hearts and spirits and minds to what God has to say. God has a word for you. God has a word for you to share. God has a word for you to, 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 to just open up and allow us to become open to his Holy Spirit so that those that are listening, those that are watching, those that are participating will be blessed and uplifted by what you say. Because somebody has been through something that God has delivered them from. God's delivered, he's, he's delivered you from something. And, and, and in your prayer, you can, you, you can talk about how he delivered you. Uh, in your prayer, you can talk about how he set you free from an addiction or, or, one, or whatever the situation is. If you share that with somebody, hmm, you just don't know how you could save a life. your tongue or your words for life, watch God boomerang that blessing back to you. So right now, use your words for life, not tomorrow. Let's do it today, right now, in Jesus' name.
Father God, we thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name because you are God. We thank you, Lord, for this day and, and for those that are posting prayers right now, that are pouring out of their spirits, pouring out of their souls, pouring out of their problems, pouring out of their trial, pouring out of their tribulations, Father. But they're not pouring the negativity, they're pouring the positivity of deliverance. They're pouring out the positivity of their healing. They're pouring out the positivity of their uplifting. They're pouring out the positivity of your grace and your mercy. Father God, we thank you right now for what you've done, for what you're doing, and for what you will do. And through the words that are spoken right now, through the words that are written right now, Father, I just ask you to allow it to inundate somebody's spirit. Allow it to inundate somebody's situation. Allow it to inundate somebody's problem. And Lord, let it cleanse it. Let it heal it. Let it be delivered. Let it be eradicated. Bind Satan on every hand. We declare and decree that God is God, that Jesus Christ is his son, that he died on the cross for our sins and rose on the third day morning with all power in heaven and earth in his hands. And for that reason, he is our refuge and he is our strength. He is a very present help. When we are in the midst of trouble, thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for your Shekinah glory, your all-encompassing presence. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done, for holding us in the hollow of your hand. In the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. We thank you, we praise you, and we love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for your prayers. I just feel that something special, I, I'm anticipating uh, something special happening out of these prayers today. I'm anticipating. I have anticipatory faith. Somebody write that down. I have anticipatory faith that God is going to work a miracle in my life. God's going to, I have anticipation. Can, can you put that down? Somebody please. I want to see that. I want somebody to see that. I have anticipatory faith that God's going to work a miracle, not only in my life, but also in your life. That's why we call him our refuge. That's why we call him our strength. That's why we know that he's a very present help in trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you so much for your prayers. Keep them coming. It doesn't make any difference if we're off the air or what, but I want you to keep those prayers coming, please, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to get to our uh, shout-out showcase, and uh, we have several shout-outs today, and so I want you to be a little patient with us because we got quite a few today. And our uh, shout-outs from Monday for those individuals that joined, those new people who joined us on Monday, we've got Mary Burdell, we've got Regina Holcomb, we've got Deverly Hicks, Angela, your Angela J Malone, love you, girl, and Katie Mack. We surely appreciate you uh, joining with us on Monday, and I hope you, you're with us today. And I uh, want to thank our pastoral prayer partners. Our first one, we told you, was uh, Minister Linda Taylor from Eureka True Vine Baptist Church. We thank you for leading that group. And I, I saw one of my good buddies, my pastoral friends, Bishop Lloyd Anderson from New Zion Baptist Church. That's my, that's, my, that's my brother, that's, that's my friend, that's my ace, you know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's my good friend, and we praise God for him and, uh, and uh, his beautiful family and the Mount Zion family. Uh, I want to thank uh, Pastor Leroy, Leroy McCray uh, from South Carolina, uh, from, uh, and he is a good friend of mine. We, we, we're blessing he and his, his, his uh, church there in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, we also have, uh, my sister had a birthday yesterday. Uh, I think she's about 17 plus a few more years. That's what she looks. Hallelujah. Praise God. Susan Joyce Black. She is one of the associate pastors and, and the administrator at Eureka True Vine Baptist Church. We've got two graduates from the 2020 pandemic class <laughs> that we're going to celebrate today. You know, like, uh, I think Monday we talked about my daughter. God bless Alexis. And then we have Aaron Brown, who graduated from middle school from Freedom Prep. Uh, Free Freedom Prep School. She, she's a graduate. She's a pandemic 2020 graduate. And then we have Debbie Un Jamar Harris from St. Louis, Missouri. 
He graduated from Parkway Central High School. And guess what? Let, let me show you how good God is. Uh, he has a full scholarship to Lindenwood University. He's a basketball player. He's real tall, about 6'7". You know, he's got he's got some of my DNA running in his blood. Hey, hey Amen. You know, that's why you need to play ball. Hallelujah. But we're so happy. She, he is the, the granddaughter, grandson of Denise Jones. And uh, we're so happy that uh, he has graduated. He is uh, just embarking upon something great upon the beginning of his life. So congratulations again to Debbie M. Jamar Harris, to Aaron Brown, and to Susan uh, Joyce Black. Uh, Tamara Bardell, Regina Holcomb, Debbie Hicks, Andrew Malone, and Katie Mack. Uh, don't forget, cups and t-shirts. We got you. We got you. Go to Uniquely Made uh, and you will uh, to their Facebook page and you will talk with uh, uh, Annette Tribble or Maurice Tribble and get your cups uh, next week. Uh, I want you to, those of you who get them, I want you to take a picture of yourself with your cups. We're going to post them on the site. Uh, if you have the t-shirt, if you have the t-shirt in the cup, put them both on. Take a picture of uh, yourself, and we're going to post you uh, on the uh, Coffee with Christ site. All right, so we are so happy that you joined us today on Coffee with Christ. We had a great time. I know I did. We had a great time. Make sure you post it. Don't forget the likes. Don't forget the comments, and don't forget the shares. God bless you. We love you, and we are going to let you know something that we let you know every time is that there's something great going on. When? All of the time at the Vine. Does anybody know that? And whenever you visit the Vine, whether it is virtually or physically, guess what you get? You get two things. You get real ministry with a real message. For who? Real people. If you're real people, everybody that's a real person, shout out. I'm a real person with real problems, but I serve a real God. Can you post that? I, I, I'm a real person with real problems, but I serve a real God. If you do, post it. Let the world know. God bless you. I love you. See you Friday at 7 o'clock a.m. for Coffee with Christ. You can join us tonight at 6.30 for Bible study. God bless you. We're still dealing with Elijah. But Friday, 7 a.m., we're going to be back with Coffee with Christ. I love you. God bless you. Let's give him high praise. There's a war going on. Come on, soldiers.